Hello, this is Wall Street Online. Overview of the futures market from a volume and technical analysis perspective. We take into account market data, news flow and upcoming events in the economic calendar. In this review we will look at Canadian dollar futures, 6C, at CME exchange. We will highlight important volume support and resistance levels. An important event for CAD, USD at the moment will take place on July 12th. 10 a.m. Chicago time, Bank of Canada interest rate decision. June 7th, the Bank of Canada raised the rate to 4.75%. An interest rate hike next week is likely. Why? It's the Bank of Canada's interest rate. It is the Bank of England's interest rate. The US Federal Reserve has already raised the interest rate to 5.25%. The point is not even how much they may raise the rate, but the fact that traders are not expecting any surprises or dramatic changes. Whether it will be left unchanged or raised, both options will not significantly affect the current trend. The likelihood of a rate cut, contrary to general central bank policy, is too low. Due to geography and closely intertwined trade, the value of the Canadian dollar is closely tied to the economic health of the US. As the US accounts for more than 50% of Canada's exports. The influence of oil is particularly strong. Traders tend to buy the Canadian dollar when oil rises. Let's start with a volume analysis and highlight important levels. This is the daily chart from February 6, 2023 to the current day. For those who have not yet mastered or have just begun to apply volume analysis, I want to show you a great example of how volume support and resistance levels look like. Pay attention to the level of 0.726. After the price fell from 0.75 to 0.726, trading volume increased significantly and the total difference in volume bid ask is on the buyer's side. The battle between the bulls and bears continued for three trading sessions. It was marked with a green rectangle. Then the price returned to this level two more times. And both times the buyers defended the level. The next example of volume support range is 0.734 to 0.7365. On the histogram to the left of the chart, pay attention to the delta profile. How tightly this range was held by the buyers. The whole week the buyers were holding back the seller's onslaught. Look at the bar chart below, specifically the delta profile. Every day the buying side has the upper hand. After the bulls managed to push the price above the VWAP indicator, the combined buy position came out in profit. If the price moves below 0.735, trades will be loss making. Exactly for this reason in April and May buyers reacted quickly and it confirms the total delta and open interest. The seller's camp formed in February closer to the 0.75 level. On two occasions, the sellers were able to repel the bullish attack. In June, the bulls were able to move the price above this level, as noted on the slide. At the moment, this level no longer makes sense to use as resistance. Important ranges of the current September 23 contract. Resistance level 0.7595 to 0.7615. Second resistance level 0.758. Main volume area and support level 0.755 to 0.7565. Second support level 0.753. VWAP 0.7575. July 12th is not likely to be a fateful day for the Canadian dollar, but it is a good day to place a position. There is a high probability that the moment the interest rate report is released will be accompanied by strong price momentum. The current price is two steps away from updating the low and the VWAP indicator is now on the seller's side. If you have been selling since July, you might want to play it safe and take some profits because after the Bank of Canada's interest rate report, you might be in for a continuation of the trend. Those who are considering buying Canadian dollar futures, I recommend not to be in a hurry and to watch the open interest indicator at the end of the trading day. As soon as you see an increase in positions, make sure that the total delta is on the buyer's side. Thank you for watching. Discuss and ask questions in the comments to this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with your friends on Facebook.